go. Episode. He just sold some of Ben Hadlow's Fest 2017 Desert Showdown. Yo. Snake This Podcast, Desert Showdown, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, we got Ryan, George, Greg, back bang, in the building. Bang, 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 bang. Eight. People still coming in. People still people coming still in. People still coming in. Actually, still, this is still VIP. The VIP line. So, All these yellow wristbands. They, the general mission doesn't come in until after they're done. They're getting the steals and deals. The Ben have those steals whoa, whoa, and wait. deals. There's still people in line outside. There are this. still. This is this the is only VIP, VIP. Pack people only. The normal line is on the other side. What the fuck? So those people on the other side, <laughs> they still gotta wait Dang, about an hour to get in here. by, knocked the t-shirt off the thing. Oh, Dang, whoa. she didn't even care. Knocked the t-shirt on the ground. That's oh, how it is. That's why I worry about the these joints. She sneaked That's why. that booth. <laughs> you know what's funny is that every single time we do an event, we never tell anybody to go look at on the website. Sneaker, sneaker uh, event etiquette. That's true. We need. To I was actually that. looking through it, and it actually looked all right through here. It don't look too bad. Although we are this sitting, a- we are sitting across a table that's literally selling like mixtapes, CDs, DVDs, and, DVDs. and Hennessy socks. I mean, and fake Gucci flip flops. But we're not here to judge. Oh no, we're here to if judge. You, if you need a fake Fendi belt, I got you. Hit us. Get you his info. He's not even Gucci a Fendi tees. belt. Hey, you got Fendi belts over there. Let me tell you something. If you're a grown man and you buying Yuhu socks or Frosted Flake socks, you need to reevaluate your life. That's actually, uh, that's, a, that's a honest thing. The Hennessy one, would you wear the Hennessy socks? I don't know what George is doing. George is messing <laughs> around with the mic. The, I'm having issues here. The waves, the waves on the mic is out of control. Did you unplug <laughs> it? Yeah, put what it back. That? I've seen a wave that I've never even seen before. <laughs> that's just the way. We had to get it, we had to get it locked in better. George, you looking to cop anything? Uh, I'm trying to sell this uh, these these boosts that I brought with me so I can uh, the boost knob is unloading. Maybe buy something. Well, not unloading, but selling shit that I'm gonna never wear. Maybe buy some. We'll see. So what? If there was something here that you were gonna buy, what is it? Moon rock? Nah, 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 nah. You, you have moon rock? Rock? You got moon rock? I got moon rocks. Uh, no Yeezys. You wouldn't buy Yeezy today? If someone wants to sell me a Yeezy for resale, yeah, I'm buying. Five hundred? Maybe. There's so, actually a few around here. I don't know. If I mean, I, I, I mean, need, actually, I, need, I probably would buy like shattered backboards for a good price. No, there's a, uh, there's a couple pirate good black here. size ten pirate black for six fifty. Six fifty. Well, you're so, a size ten, not me. So. No, I'm a size nine. Nah, and a half. it's too small. I mean, too big. Um, <laughs> I my goal is to leave here today with a easy, whether that is a V1 or a V2, I or or a seven fifty. I want to leave here today with a easy. I won $500 on a scratcher ticket. It's burning a fucking hole in my pocket. Simple. I need lit. to get out of here. Oh, yeah, he's running around like a thot, like a chicken with his head cut I'm off. Running though. around. I mean, your I'm goal is to it should be to leave here without sweaty armpits. My armpit. <laughs> it's too late, bro. You sweat, bro. <laughs> it's too late, bro. I brought an extra shirt. You look like an NCAA coach, bro. <laughs> He wore that stress- gray shirt. That's it's what stress- It's stressful out here in the- running around trying to find these easy uh, You're going to be here for about six hours you're okay all right nobody is walking out of here with i gotta a pair get of deals and deals right. before we yeah. already but you already well you didn't buy some oscar the intern already picked up a pair of two, 2017 world I mean, ones what, why do all these cats have the same exact box like did they hand the boxes out in the parking lot or something that I Yo, no 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 they gave them the vip pack oh, with the box the, in the, in with the, which is kind of tight though that's kind of tight yeah, it is tight, but I'm. But you gotta walk around with wait, it now. Wait a second, why do they all have the same exact box? For all of y'all that are listening, no wonder it was forty dollars. And can't see, it's uh, you get a you get a a vlogger uh, <laughs> drop front, you get a vlogger drop front uh, storage container store <laughs> yeah. box with purchase a VIP pack at, at uh, Desert Showdown 2017. <laughs> this cat got on Will Smith's basketball jersey for Beller Academy, and they didn't even wear black. Beller Academy was <laughs> yellow and navy blue. <laughs> um, that, that man rubbed it in my face. I walked by his table with the baby jerseys. He goes, hey, just so you know, baby jerseys are sold. I was like, eh, that would make me two, two baby jerseys for $25. Each. Each. Arizona, throwbacks, Nike. Wish I would have bought them. Yeah, they didn't have the swoosh on them. They had the Nike Air on they had them. The, yeah, they had the Nike with the Nike over the check. I will say this, though. I am looking if I had those, for my- shattered backboards. But trading. I'm not buying. If I would have had that jersey, I could have put it on. My armpits would have sweat through it. What are you, what are you uh, trading? Probably Kith Pack Salmon Toes. But you don't have them here. Oh, no, no, no. But, but later. AZ Threads said they got a nine and a half yesterday. Oh, all right. And he said I could trade some stuff. I, I was going to give him the reverse shadow backboard, but I don't think I want to give it up anymore. He saw him and he fell in love again. <laughs> them joints are fire in hand. He's going to set up a meet and greet for a later time to do a trade. Man, bro, if I had to walk around with that clear box, I'd be so annoyed. I had to take that to the car. Some people in here 
with some failed outfits, some failed products. That's a fact. Um, some failed. Uh, we need you to go do something, intern. Like, get the heck out of here. Pe- some people here. Jesus, I, hope, the intern. I, I walk around sometimes with these things, and I think, I hope that you weren't banking on this to make a living because it's probably not going to work out for you. I don't know what that product is called. But I feel bad for him every single time we see him at a. This man's got one of the greatest jerseys of NBA history right here. Yeah, you want to spit some? At the mic's out. I don't you come back. Yeah. He gonna take that grill off. He put that grill against the mic. Give me nothing but static. Sparks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sparks. Start a fire. Um. Yeah. No. There's definitely a lot of people in the building. I'll tell you one thing. What's popular seems to be is selling vintage clothes. Like every single table has at least a rack of old clothing that they're trying to sell now. I've already seen like two of them guest shirts. People wearing them. Oh, see, I haven't even seen them. I thought you saw them on the table or something like nah, that. Some, oh, shit, is that Osama Bin Laden? Two people wearing them. Bro, I didn't pick. What? Bro, that gotta be Osama Bin Laden. Bro. Oh, oh, my God. So Look you, at George Shook. So, yeah. George Shook is at his hat and nothing we trust. <laughs> you better turn that around. That's a fact. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's a ugly too. Bro, he's a he sympathizer. might be about seven feet tall. He ugly. Bro. He look like Swiss Beats. So. <laughs> Anyways, bin Laden's son. Shout out to uh, Ben Haddo. Shout out to Hitaso Summit. Shout out to the homies Tesh, Abe, Charles in the building. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for shout out. Hey, wait, wait, yo, real quick. What are y'all rocking? We never say what oh, we rock. Oh, I got on my uh, Pusha T boots, EQT boots, and they are fire flames. Greg spilled coffee all over him this morning. I spilled coffee on the ground and it's, it, uh, it dabbed the back. It's chill. I what's got your, brown boots now. What's your pant sock situation? Right this is now? this is what you'll be doing in two years. If I I'm, I'll pro, I'll find a picture of you in Walmart rocking this outfit, and I'm gonna post it in the group chat, just like joggers. No, I, mean, I, will, I will never ever wear long socks with joggers. Period. You wear ankle socks. That's it. Like nah. no show socks. What you rocking, George? I'm wearing no show socks right now with this. I'm wearing uh, no socks. Kith Ultra Boost Mid. Rich people sneakers. Not the friends and family pair. <laughs> I'm rocking Kobe 8 EXTs. Red. Still fire. I don't care what anybody Reds. says. But you know Reds what's funny Reds. is, either way, nobody in here is wearing what we got. All no. the shoes in the building. But I will say, there's less Yeezys I on was, feet. Okay, I was going to say that. I was going to make that point. But we can't say that because not everybody's inside yet. So oh, when right. all those people come inside, there might be well, four or 500 pairs of Yeezys in here. So typically... I thought about wearing something else, but then I figured... Like, what was it? The boost now, I gotta wear boots. I wouldn't be living. What was you gonna wear? You gonna wear? I was actually gonna wear some Vans. I thought about it. I honestly thought about wearing a pair of Vans. Wear those olive, the olive old schools. I don't know, man. I always hate when like people come to sneaker events like this. See, Vans is fine, but I hate seeing the cats walking around in like slides and flip flops. Like why? Huh? Why? Why do I hate that? Yeah, it's freaking annoying. Like you, you come to a sneaker event, and it usually be the cats that got hundreds of sneakers they come here wearing a slide and it's like they're trying to prove a point like no i don't care about sneakers if there's any point to wear sneakers you wear sneakers to a sneaker event period i'm trying to remember if i have those uh bw BW. usas i think i might have bought them that's a nice shoe we're just looking at people walking by the booth nah bw's bw's are nice these masks look at these masks masks are lit jordan four masks roughneck got the little homies walking around handing stuff out that's dope with the mask on. With the mask on. Looking Wait crazy. a minute. Ain't that the kids that they with that table that sells oh, that, that thing? That you, the shoe right there yeah. is the biggest shoe oh, I've ever no, seen in my entire oh, life. No, oh, no, no. Behind you on the table. Oh, no. What size are these 18. coming around the corner? Oh, we might make a per- We might make our first our first live purchase. If that Naked Ultra Boost is a decent price, it might be the first it live looks, purchase. It looks like a nine. It looks like a nine or nine and a half. Hey, Pete, what size is that? You know what's funny is I'm seeing hey, a lot me, more let me people. Get those. I'm seeing a. Uh, <laughs> he didn't even respond. He just waited. Nine? How much do you want for it? Three seventy-five. You can't fit. I, need, no I really need a nine and a half or a ten. You but can't fit a nine in ultra boots. Yeah, take, I don't, take I mean, the insole out, maybe, but yeah, I'll think about it. I'll be right. Cool. I'll tell you one thing. I'm seeing a lot of. I've seen about four people already wearing two different shoes already. I'm surprised he has My man's here got the got the lunar sell that to this point. The lo- the moon landing lunar Air Max 90s. And you see you say if you're going to wear 16. I don't condone wearing two different shoes, but if you're going to wear two different shoes, at least let them be the same shoe, all right? A red one and a royal one, not a homeboy walked by wearing a 72 10 11 
and a Toro 5. <laughs> Did you not get the picture I sent you at SneakerCon of the man wearing uh, like a Ultra Boost and an Air Jordan what? 5 or Air Jordan 11? I sent it in the group chat. I didn't see that. Didn't see you should have walked behind him and kicked the back of his ankle like, <laughs> like in high school and made him trip. Dang, I haven't seen those in about a good five years. What are they? I know. You know what's funny? I see somebody selling South Beach 8s, and I was like, man, I wonder do them joints still go for a lot. I've seen some pairs go for pretty cheap, but I remember South Beach 8s being 1000 Like, fat. Shout out, man, wearing uh, Jeremy Scott gold wings. Fire. Well, they suck, but they look kind of all right right there. Uh, <laughs> Come on. If there's any place to wear a Jeremy Scott sneaker, it would be a, a sneaker event. Walking through like the mall or going to dinner I, with your girl wearing I don't that? Blame, nah. I don't, I'm not saying I blame him, I'm, but it, I would never even touch it, let alone put it on my foot. I mean, that's a little much. That gold is shining. Shining. That is, that is way too much. But like we said, think this podcast back in the building. Uh, probably be going live a few times on Instagram. Definitely going to be posting these up all throughout the week. Hopefully come through and chat it up with a few people. Um, did you guys watch the games yesterday? I know some of I them. did. We're going to come back and talk about that, though. Well, I thought we were doing a episode right now. Oh, we're going to keep going? Well, I mean, why are you oh, going? Oh, I thought keep going then. Yeah. I, watched, I didn't watch Gonzaga game. I didn't watch that one. I was out doing stuff. But watch the Oregon and uh, North Carolina game. Oregon is dumb. All right. <laughs> they couldn't get three consecutive rebounds off those missed free throws. It had no more timeouts left. I, I didn't know what they would do. Actually, you know what? I'm not mad at them because they probably shouldn't have been there since their center had got hurt early in the what? Yeah. What was that? Not the uh, Pac-10 tournament. What? The yeah, like Pac-12. Well, two months ago or a month. Yeah. Ago, huh? So I didn't expect them to get that far, but still, that was that was their opportunity. All right. It was to to be a non-fan of one of the teams and just be in the building. It was two great games. Like I don't feel like I got cheated on my uh, ticket price or anything like that. That's uh, all you can ask for. South Carolina was down 12 and went on down no down 14 and went on a 16-0 run to take a two-point lead in the second half late, and then Gonzaga immediately went like on a 7-0 run, and it was a two-point game with like a minute left. South Carolina had the ball with a down two, couldn't score, fouled, then Gonzaga made one free throw. South Carolina got the ball back down three with like 10 seconds left, couldn't score, lost by four, crazy. And then the ending of that Oregon-UNC game, I've never seen anything like that in any game ever. And to be in person with, like, 7,000 fans and everybody, like, all the Carolina and Oregon fans, like, living and dying by a free throw. Like, I can only imagine if Arizona was in the game how crazy it would have been. I would have ran on the court and started punching people. I swear to God. Where are all your boosts? I believe that. Let me see the silver one. Oh, yo, I know you was getting rid of those silver boots. I got too many silver shoes, too many too many gray shoes. I got uh, hey, what's up, man? same thing what's Supple up, got on right now. What was retail on these? Uh, it, like, was shipping 217, so selling them for 220, 218, whatever. I'm so hoping a- y'all think people are going to come that came for the tournament and be here at uh, the maybe, showdown? Yeah, I think it's like, it's a if good you're question. into sneakers, like, why not? But I mean, I mean most, dude, they promoted the hell out of this thing. Most people so. who came for the tournament are still here because the championship game is tomorrow. I mean, a lot are of you going to the championship game? Yeah. A lot of people that, you know, had tickets from South Carolina, Oregon might sell, might sell theirs, but. Who do you got? What? In the game. Who do I, who do I winning it? I think Gazaga's going to win, to be honest with you. But the funniest thing about it is, like, very rarely in an NCAA tournament do you get really the two best teams left at the end, and that's what we got this year. Gonzaga and North Carolina were really the two highest rated teams from a, a statistical category. And this is where insert simple joke here. I mean, we yes, all. Statistics and old schools. If anybody follows. With, with one bid, I wonder what it's going to sell for. I mean, they're on GOAT. They're like 230. So If you follow college basketball even a little bit, it's shocking. Gonzaga is even where it's at. So that's perfectly fine. But. Anyways, well, the craziest part about it was three of the teams, of of all the teams that's been there or that were made it to this final four, only Oregon and North Carolina had made it before, and the last time Oregon made it was 1939. Oh yeah, I see. So black basically, and white. like only three teams or one team that's been there have made it to the final four before, and they were called places. like the Wetfoots or something. 
Yo, I see your boy in the building, Ryan. Only uh, which one? Uh, jump man, jump man, jump man. Is in the building. Hey, let's Only, get him over uh, here. So he, he speak. He has said that earlier. Only uh, Roy Williams had been to the Final Four before, so it was just crazy. Like they said, it was the first time since '83 that two teams played in the Final Four that had never been there before. You know that's what? Tight. I want to say something about that too, because apparently there were some people getting in uh, the Sneaker Box podcast inbox or. Jumpman Bossing's inbox saying that they were coming to Arizona and coming to Heat Soul Summit. Sneak just was going to get them and all this and that. Listen, whoever was saying that, if you're listening, you're a fool. We ain't about violence. We ain't about all that nonsense. We're just three regular guys hanging out, trying to move the culture, like, in the way that we want. Like, we have opinions. We say stuff. Like, we don't – we're not violent people. We're not bad people. We're not – out of control people so if you said that you're a moron and you need to shut up uh, i mean we're a little out of control i mean we're out of control but we're not gonna jump a man because we think he's boring like i mean we have our moments of nonsense racism <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of all over the place but it is what it is and that's what makes our podcast i literally what it don't is. care about any of that like it's hysterical to me that somebody thought that I think it's funny. I don't know where it came from, but I was asked personally by one of the hosts of this event if we were planning to jump jump the Jumpman Boston. We're not confronting nobody. We ain't confront nobody. Yes, we think that their podcast is not as great as ours, but that's because we shouldn't (laughs) think we're the greatest. Like, otherwise, why would we be doing this? Like, I wouldn't come do this every day. I wouldn't be in this event right now if I didn't think we had the best podcast out. And that's how everybody should think. That's how everybody should feel. Hey, listen. It's kind of dope us being here right now. We did get asked to come to another event in May, so listen. that's kind of tight. What, man? What about? Oh, yeah, you were running around like a crackhead. Yeah, cr- so a, yeah. A guy came over and told us they're having some type of event May 3rd. Want us to come through and just chit chat, talk to people. So cool. Um, Rashuvenator sure. doing well. See cats over there scrubbing sure their shoes. Well, that's because Rashuvenator is the best shoe cleaner on the planet. I don't have no problem with no other people doing the same thing we're doing. Like, we already know the content's not going to be as good. It, United States of America is about competition. Like, feel free to come in here and record your You hate your America, own so you podcast. can't quote America. Man, that's not true. I hate, a <laughs> lot of people. I hate a lot of people that live in the United States of America. Your hat has nothing we trust. You're a communist. <laughs> that has nothing. You, you might have to go bunk with Shanghai souls in China and be a communist. It, well, I mean... We should start calling him Shuanghai, by the way. That's what should be his new IG name. Shwing. Shuanghai, because that's his last name. That'd be dope. You might have just saved his life. Shuanghai. But, yo, I'm not going to China. I don't trust nobody out there except, except Shuanghai. Shuanghai. He's always asking us when we going to come out there. I'm just like, what I, do you mean? Like, we like we got <laughs> Like, we just walk in the airport and be like, can we get three Hey, can to, I get three, three to China? China? <laughs> like, you know, maybe you might find me out there in, like, 2022. Like, Bro, you know. I'm, I'll tell you what. And Jeff- actually... Japan. Japan is high on my to-go it's list. High on there, but yes. I don't know about no China. Japan might be top three places I definitely China, want to go China's, visit. China's dope, from what I hear. I know a lot of people have been. There. I heard it's dope, but I don't know. It's twelve o'clock now, so everybody's coming in now. Everybody's coming in now, so we're about to see if if this is the Yeezy Fest. Whoa, what was that? My voice just cracked. We're about to see if this is the Yeezy Fest. There's that another uh, consortium box was. right there. I don't know what it is. He, I don't know oh no, he's is, got what? that. It's that in it that um. Neighborhood NMD XR1. Right here, man, with the red backpack. Oh, no, I didn't see that yeah, one. No, nah, he's got a consortium box on the bottom. Looks oh, kind of like a out. I so, mean, I definitely, like, I'm itching to I'm itching to buy some stuff today. But yeah, we can you tell. You always itching to buy you stuff. You itching, but yeah, you, you itching like an actual fiend. <laughs> you got sweaty armpits. Your hair is sweaty. Your My jumpy. hair is not sweaty. bro. your hair is sweaty. My you, hair is you oily. Look jumpy. Like, it look wired. My hair is that what? Wait, so, is that the tan right there on top? That's the yeah, tan, tan. And then this man that's right here. Saying. He bought like the he, for he's 450. The one who got it? Yeah, he got the tan and he got the red for 350. So, you guys want to interview him? I'll I'm jump sure. out. You can interview him. I don't care. Nothing about that. I just want to know what that consortium box is. They were out. These, they're, what time did you guys get here last night? Oh, yeah. New. Actually, at yeah, what time? Them so you got here at no, what, what number were you guys Let, in line? Hey, hey, put them on the mic. Hey, talk First, uh, introduce yourself. Introduce Kevin these are the- and Nick Riley. So uh, we're interviewing some people that actually camped out at a uh, BHT fest. Um, are y'all cool with this band on iTunes, YouTube, oh, yeah. everything? For right, cool. 24 hours so they waited. I camp out for in order to get uh, 10 years. 24 hours. Noon. Yeah. 
definitely. You keep it? Definitely. Are you keeping or are you uh, selling? Keep it for a while and then I'm selling it. Are they your size? <laughs> yeah, I need to buy a car. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking that's about. I'm talking about. Sell your shoes and get a car. car. Thank yeah. you very much. How old are you? 15. 15. 15. Uh, go have a talk with my son. Is uh, this your brother? <laughs> Is this your homie? My friend, yeah. Cool. Hey, what, oh. what, what's in the consortium box on the bottom? All right. Got. Hey, he's got a bunch of stuff. Look, if you see a, a I bet that tall, for that you see a one. you see a tall Hispanic kid with a polo shirt on. You tell him about selling stuff, making money, and buying your own stuff. Yeah, because he's draining me. All right, his name is Oscar the intern. All right, <laughs> what else you got? So I just bought the what the KD sevens, and then he has a bunch of stuff. Louis Vuitton Yeezys. Oh, you got oh, Louis Vuitton Yeezys. What you selling those for? Oh, uh, one point two. What y'all rocking? Okay. You rocking a turtle dove? I go with the Navy. Like, <laughs> I, go the I go with the OG. Like, oh, like, okay. Like, not everyone likes them, but I like what I like. So I'm no, I like. What I, want. I got like Yeezys. I have Yeezys. I'm not gonna put them on though. I'm wearing what I want. That's what wear. it is. All right. Hey. No, it's good to hear, man. What we're size are the masterminds? Out. We're glad y'all actually came in. How much? Six eighty. Oh. But which ones? Those masterminds. Six eighty nine. I bad. love it, but it's like the only like That's I just love small. the tongue. Yeah, for real. And then I'm gonna put my pants over it, and it's gonna look like a black NMD. And then yeah. what I pay six eighty for. Well, first of all, you got your pants and your socks right now, so I definitely well, yeah, put now, your pants yeah. over the shoes. <laughs> now I do, yeah. So just do that. Like you. But I wear those with jeans though. No, Maybe. I wear those with some shorts. Though. Them joints are fire, bro. So was it worth it? Was it worth twelve hours? Yeah, was it, it worth it? Was it worth it? Definitely, because we got to talk to a, a guy who said that there was aliens that are invisible. <laughs> aliens are invisible? <laughs> That's what he said. Dang, y'all must have out there a homeless like people. a camp out story. Yeah. I don't even think he's homeless. He tried to get us to go to his house, but we said no. Dang, I, well, good for you saying yes. no. All right, so there's this dude. <laughs> yes, tell the story. Tell there's the story. There's this dude that came up to us saying that he fought in the war. He's a Marine. And that he killed little Russian, like, child children that, like, tried to kill him with knives and stuff. And then, hey, that he camp told us that lit. there's like aliens that go through walls and stuff. Yeah, he said he killed forty kids. What? Yeah, Jeez. Crazy. And then he went, and then he asked two kids to go to his house. Oh yeah, he said, hey. he said you can stay over my house. Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody <laughs> get him a VIP pack. <laughs> I need him to come in. We gotta talk to him. Uh, somebody I'm needs to, to call to the them. police on him. But uh, what's your name again? Uh, Devin Marshall at K Dot Marshall on Instagram. Nick Riley. You got Instagram anything? Oh. Uh, yeah. What is it? All right, all right. Instagram at N I V C K six. I always change the song. All right. But a shout out to them. They actually camped out, got Yeezys and stuff, and it was Yeezys. definitely worth it. So appreciate y'all coming through, man. All right. Hold on a second. What you got? Lollipops? <laughs> I'm about to lure him. He can give, he give him suckers. You can go to his house later. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, no, them was two cats that camped out. Dang, look at um, them Tommy uh, overalls. Look how baggy they are. Bro. What's that? Oh, dang, I need those. Tommy I'm overalls. A, look how baggy they are. Man, what are you talking about? I had those in eighth grade. I, uh, I mean, we all had them at one point. And that's what I remember I got mine at Dillard's for about 180 that's when Tommy was a hitter. Bro, you should have be about $700 these days. You should have just switched the tag on it like I did. <laughs> George got it for $8.99. <laughs> he, put so he put a sock sticker on him. Lady rung it up. She was yes, like, I put a higher price tag on it. <laughs> she put it up. She was like, Nike socks. Oh, I guess. Look at Wex. Number Wex. one, hey, Wex. look at Wex. Ben Hadlow's Wex. tables Wex. is empty. Bro. Ben Hadlow's tables was full of sneakers, and it is now empty. Hey, hey look at, we got Wexler in the building. It was lit. Yes, Bruh, Wex. We've seen a few of those, huh? He's got like a... He uh, looks just like him, basically. He got a $2,000 backpack on. And and Yeezy uh, Black Red. Reds. Oh, Royal Ones. Who cops? I cop. I got. I actually got... Look, I got three pairs of my size, and I got two grade schools. <laughs> All retail. I got one. A lot of people hit me up asking me that I get How one. How the fuck did you get three pairs? I'm in these streets. In, in the streets, yes. How many online did you get? This is, Zero These online. are all retail pairs? All retail, all in town. From where? From, from you know, stores. Like brick and mortar stores. <laughs> yeah. Where they ha like most of them have employees that wear referee uniforms. Okay. So. All right. So you, you won some raffles or you, won some or raffles. you, or you rigged some things? I won some other. raffles. There's no, nobody rigs anything. Everything's <laughs> legit. This is Phoenix. People out here are upstanding citizens. Uh-huh. 
I was able to grab one online. I appreciate everybody hitting me up, asking me did I get one, but I was able to get one. Actually, I got on Rue Villa and had about five in my cart, and it was like 960. I got to PayPal, and I really sat there like, man, should I just even attempt to cop this, all these for 960? And I didn't even do it, I just chickened out. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do it, and I knew they were going to cancel what it anyways. What size do we have here? So, oh. Uh, oh, Hannah's got everybody coming by. Too All big. Right. Yo. There we go. We got we got Hannah some in the building. These, yo. Helping out, some, passing yo, out flyers. Some of these boxes are actually we'll call her rash. Look at the box right there. Man, yo. man carrying that box. Yo, he's carrying it like he got a lunch bag. Bruh. Today her name is Hannah White. Like this. Like a Passing them out. Hannah White. Passing them out. Yeah, no, he was squeezing that too tight under his armpit. Accordion box. We got a few um what them joints call? Heated heat lockers. We got a few we got a few uh we we'll start calling Illegal. them joints. Better Yo, not, is he on a megaphone? Better not tell the gaming society. Yeah, I'm about to call it gaming. We got a few uh we'll start calling them joints rig lockers. <laughs> Cause them joints is rigged. You don't want to send a uh, it's a proxy for you. What you about to say, Ryan? I was gonna say so. So just based off right now, looking around, this venue is probably about half the size of SneakerCon was, but it feels packed. It does feel packed. Like it feels like it's cracking in here. Would and you say it's more vendors or is it just a smaller place? Everybody's I'm, that's what packed. I'm trying to think. I think it's. I think it might be the same amount of vendors, but I think it's a room that's probably two thirds the size of sneaker, maybe even half the size of sneaker con rooms was. What do you think? No, I think it's probably half the size of sneaker con. Definitely, it feels like more people are here, but it's really hard to tell when everyone's like right next to each other. Yes, that's true. I'll say it doesn't look difficult to walk around. No. And I will say there's a lot more variety of sneakers on tables than it was at sneaker con. Sneaker cons were strictly Yeezys, Boost, Boost. Like, I haven't seen any table that had any Air Max 1s on it, blue or red, or Atmos. Oh, yeah. Those, I saw Atmos pack. I've seen Atmos pack, yes. Those I would, pro- those I would probably buy, but the price is good. The red and blue? The red and blue? Well, what's yeah. a good price? $250? No, I'd probably, pay, I'd probably pay $300 for the blue ones. $300? Or the Atmos. You might want to take your shoes and put them on somebody's table, though. You actually might. Because them joints are fly for retail. There's not a lot in this building for retail right now. Actually, if you know, anybody looking for some boots, hit up Sneak This Podcast. George is selling some of his <laughs> ultra boots right retail. They're right there. I mean, what? You, put them front wanna, and center. Let people see. I don't want to cover the. Hold it. Like you gotta, you gotta hold them like this. Like yeah, I gotta. Yeah, you gotta hold. You gotta hold I'm, your. I'm uh, carrying the mic in one hand. Your sneakers on your head. I will say this though, I haven't seen a lot of that in here. Shoes on the head. I'm telling you because and the I haven't cats seen aren't a lot of couple yet. bags. Because the cats aren't in here yet. They're still coming in. They're just now letting the inside the out the. Regular price or the regular ticket people come in. Bruh, I'm gonna say this, and I'm not gonna say it too loud because they're right in front of us. But those socks are the wackest things I've ever seen oh, in my yeah, entire life. That. Bruh, some of those socks have HBO shows on them. Okay. Yeah, it has the show Power on them. First of all, can I tell you that the that the Gucci flip flops that are being sold on that table have NMD trail bottoms on them? They look like they're hiking flip flops. I don't understand what's happening. They look like free runs. Yes. Anyways. He's wearing a shirt that says El Chapo. Yeah. And he's black. If he but listens, anyways. if he listens, he's going to kill us. So. Yeah, he's going to come get a well, flyer. That's a sickness. That's he's he's, he's going to come get a flyer. But like, oh, I'm going to listen to you guys. Oh, yeah. And actually yeah. murder us. <laughs> so... This might be the last episode. Y'all might want to download this. That's a sneak dish. Y'all might want to save this episode to your desktop <laughs> as evidence. Uh, like a George. George, <laughs> George ain't saying nothing. B- I'm just watching BAC out here. So actually slanging. Slanging, dude. Yeah, they're selling table, everything. Table was full Empty. and now it's half the half. My bad. They might actually have to go back to the store and bring back more shoes. <laughs> Bro. Because they look like they're almost sold out. Well, there's a woman walking around here with the butt cheeks cut out of her pants. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, there's there's some funny Dang, stuff happening. There you here. go. Look at man right there. Who's that man? The two the two men coming this way. This nah, man, I, I was, guess not men. Two kids coming this way. With duffel bag. bag boys. They got bags and bags. And they, bags they got and bags. they got sneakers hanging around their neck. They got duffel bags. Bags. They're ready. Bags. Yeah. These uh bags. these VIP packs that they sold are fire. But I could not walk around with that clear box all day. Like. You have to let me go out the building and take that back to the car. It's dope. You get yourself a free clear box, but nah. It's definitely worth the 40 bucks too. $40? Oh, $40? I, I'll, take it. 
I don't. I have no idea how they do VIP packs. Cause every heated soul summit, every BHT fest, a uh, uh, heated uh, like when I look at the VIP pack and what you get, I don't even know how they make money on it. Cause I feel like everything in there costs more than the forty bucks that the that the pass itself or the VIP pass itself costs. So I have no clue how they do it, but they I've do seen it. I've some actual like smash pancakes too. Like no, uh, you should have seen. seen this cat in and, and some like, belugas. And his belugas were. He was walking on the supply three fifty stripe. <laughs> Like that's how big they were. He hit it. Hey, what did man say that you said the beaters to? By the way, did he clean them Never up? Never said he nothing. <laughs> he you know post what? a picture. Oh up? yeah, so I'm just gonna listen. There you go, simple. Hey, what size turtle does? Huh? What size are those? Eight. Ah. You know what we're doing? We're actually doing what we hate other people do. Yo, if those are if those are a ten. Oh, bro, I we got... haven't said that yet though. No, Ryan said it. <laughs> Ryan said it a bunch of times. When? We both said it at tables walking around. <laughs> Bro, bro, don't let me, don't let me know. That was a ten, copped, copped instantly. I know I've said it. Anything we should touch on right now? You better just pause yourself. What do you want? To, you touch on stuff? Eh, you know. I don't know. I mean, let's go take a lap. We'll see what we can find. Maybe try to buy some stuff, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Yeah, we'll come talk about some stuff. <laughs> come back and talk about it. You know? 